Let's talk about refactoring again. How can you move some code from some central place to different value objects using small, safe steps? In this video, I want to show you how I extract some code, move it to a new value object, extract some more code around it, and move it to a different value object. In my last video about primitive obsession and about refactoring primitive obsession, I guided you through the whole process very quickly to give you an overview of what I did in general. Today, I want to move more slowly. I want to focus on a single step from that long process and explain exactly what I did and which steps I took. My name is David and I'm a technically agile coach and a trainer with over 12 years of experience. In these videos, like the one you're watching now, I want to show you some tricks and techniques that I use in my day-to-day uh, -day work and that I also teach to developers and teams. So today I want to try something new with this video. A very short video that focuses on a single thing. In this case, a single refactoring step. And by the way, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and followers and subscribe to my channel. This would be awesome. So in the code, I want to show you now, there is already one class for a value object, the tax account number. And for now, it only wraps a single string. So you can create it with a string and you can get that string back. Now I want to create a new type for the tax office ID, um, a type that wraps this integer and that also has a factory method to create it from a string. Then I want to take the code that extracts the first two digits from the tax account number and creates the object and move this code to the tax account number class. So first I create the new class tax office ID, which wraps a single integer, the integer that we have here now. And I create a new variable for it and name it tax office ID object. Then now I can replace all occurrences of the integer with the new object and just get the integer back from the wrapped object. Now I can extract the code um, that creates the tax office ID object from a string, the two lines to a new method and move it to the tax office ID class. So first I extract a method from the two lines, but on the controller and call it from string. Then I make this method static. And once I have made it static, I can move it to another class. In this case, tax office ID. Now the tax office ID class has its factory method. And as a last step for this refactoring, I want to extract the code that gets the first two digits and creates the object and move this code to the tax account number class. So I extract the method on the caller again. And in this case, I call it gets tax office ID. And then I can directly move it to the tax account number class. And there I can inline the redundant call to as string. And now I can rename the variable for tax office ID to tax office ID again, because there is no name clash anymore. So what do you think? How would you have done this refactoring? Which steps would you have taken? Please tell me here in the comments or shoot me a tweet to add the answer. And if you liked this video, then please share it with your friends and followers and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome.